This segment of the news is brought to you by Great Basin College, a pioneer in distance education. Your success is their tradition. Now offering over 25 degree and certificate programs in Pahrump and online. Welcome back. Emergency crews are responding to a structure fire at this time at 1901 Jewel Avenue. You may remember that this is the same structure that caught fire a few weeks ago. It was an abandoned home in which they were looking for a suspect that was seen leaving the residence. We'll have more on tomorrow night's broadcast. This Memorial Day weekend marked the 11th annual High Desert International Film Festival. We caught up with Linda Cass and Rodney Camacho. Where is he? Did you hide it? What'd you drink it? Neither. There's no water, John. Tell me where it is! She told you. It is in its 11th year. We have 12 countries represented. We're in the middle of the drama right now, and it is absolutely breathtaking. The talent that is here is unbelievable. And this year, I'm finding that it's come in word of mouth. Yeah. We have our Canadians back, yeah. and they have sent uh, their their brethren, oh. Canadians, to uh, enter all kinds of films, yeah. and it's just absolutely amazing. My disability checks didn't come. What am I gonna do? I try to get a job, look at me. They don't want to hire me. One time they asked, what's your phone number? We'll call you. I don't have a phone. We have a little bit more feature films this year, don't we? We actually do. Um, we have a total of 34% that were submitted were feature films. Yeah. And then of course the drama and comedy top it off from there. So uh, what are these uh, filmmakers vying for? I know they get some trophies and they might get a little bit of cash. They, yes, exactly. Um, they, uh, besides, besides being publicized um, over uh, social media, um, there is a really, really nice trophy called the Lulu. Yeah. Um, they usually get a, um, a cash award also. Um, so it's, it's out of the five categories. We used to have best act best actor, best screenplay and all that, but we cut that out this year. It's, it's really fun to be able to have the presence here, the people who are involved in the film, and um, then the filmmakers get to talk to their audience, and it's, it's a great experience. And I have to compliment, the people in Pahrump are very astute. Our filmmakers all enjoy talking to them because they ask intelligent questions and they're very enthusiastic and so it's a good deal. For more information they can go on the web, right? Uh, our Facebook page, oh. uh, High Desert IFF on Facebook and you can get the information. And that last film you saw here filmed at our own airport and of course Jason Koblenz and myself had a little bit to do with that uh, lovely film and you can find out more about it at Last Plane to Nowhere. Darby O'Donnell has a dog named Shay with her today who is looking for a family to call her own. Hi, I'm Darby here at Desert Haven Animal Society and today we are joined with Shay. Shay is a five-year-old shepherd mix. She's black and silvery white and a beige color. She has a very, very calm attitude about her. She's just a love and I think she would go great with family homes. She gets along with cats and dogs. So you should come and see her down here at Desert Haven Animal Society. They have tons of animals here with kitty cats and doggies and puppies and they all have different shapes and sizes and colors and you should come and see them. They're on Siri Lane behind the Nye County Courthouse. You can give them a call at 775-751-7020. You can look them up at DesertHavenAnimalSociety.org or check them out on Facebook at Desert Haven Animal Society. And Gretchen Papaz from Desert View Hospital invites the public to the Better Breathers Club. Today we wanted to let people know about our Better, Better Breathers Support Group. We host this monthly. It's the third Thursday of every month at 10 a.m. And it's really open to anybody who might have a breathing issue like COPD, emphysema, lung disease. And what we do is we offer education, support, information. It's open to anybody who has one of these issues as well as their family and caregivers. 
And so who exactly is going to be leading this group? It is led by our Director of Cardiopulmonary Services, John Forsey. He is an RRT and has been with Desert View since it opened in 2006. And if people want more information on the class, how do they get in contact? How do they sign up for it? You can always look, you, we don't need require signups. You can just stop in on the third Thursday at 10 a.m. We meet right in the front lobby. Um, there's more information on our website at www.desertviewhospital.com. And if you want to speak personally with John, just call the hospital at 775-751-7500 and ask for him and he'll be happy to help you. All right, we're going to take a look outside right now on our weather cam and see what we see out there. We got some really clear skies and a great view of Mount Charleston up there. Noah's going to tell us what we have in store for the week after this break.